This computer simulation represents a homogeneous mixture in which a type of molecule is dissolved in a solvent at a constant temperature and concentration. And this is the free energy density of the system as a function of the concentration. Our system lies on this point in the graph. Is the mixture stable or will it phase separate? At equilibrium, systems minimize the free energy. Here, it seems like our system should go to this point in the plot, but this would require changing the average concentration of the whole system, and we keep that fixed. But there's one clever thing we can do. Imagine that we redistribute the molecules, making part of the system at a higher concentration and the rest at a lower concentration, for instance half and half. We are only moving molecules around, so the average concentration is still the same. We want to know if this hypothetical the mixed state would have a lower free energy density than that of the homogeneous state. The total free energy density of this situation would be half that of the higher concentration and half that of the lower concentration. We can use tie lines connecting these two hypothetical phases to clearly see how the free energy changes. So these high and low concentration regions make the free energy density of the whole system higher. Therefore, under these conditions, the homogeneous state is favorable. Now let's change the temperature while keeping the average concentration. Under these new conditions, the free energy density landscape changes. Now the free energy can be minimized by generating two regions with different concentrations. So the homogeneous state is unstable and the system demixes into two phases with higher and lower concentrations. The concentration of these equilibrium phases at any given temperature is precisely what we represent in the phase diagram by a line called binodal. So the shape of the binodal line directly emerges from the free energy. If the free energy is asymmetric, the binodal will also be asymmetric. This can happen, for example, if the solute molecules are larger than the solvent molecules. We wanted to understand phases in cells and we've seen a simple example of a binary mixture. But is this how phase separation works in cells? Living cells are active and exchange energy and substances with the surroundings, which keeps them out of thermodynamic equilibrium. But surprisingly, recent research shows that equilibrium thermodynamics can be locally applied in cells. So the free energy of mixtures is a powerful concept that can be used to understand cells as polyphasic systems. Watch other science sketches to learn more. <laughs>